are the top 10 richest guys in the world? In March 2019, Forbes magazine published the list of top billionaires in the world based on their net worth. These top 10 you are about to watch are selected from the list. Number 10. Rob Walton. Rob Walton is the eldest son of Walmart founder Sam Walton. He took over as Walmart's chairman upon his father's death in 1992. Walton retired as chairman in June 2015 and was replaced by his son-in-law, Greg Penner. He still sits on Walmart's board. He and other heirs of Sam Walton collectively own about half of Walmart's stock. After a deadly mass shooting at one of its stores, Walmart said in September 2019 it would limit ammunition sales and discourage open carry of guns. Rob Walton's net worth is $54.5 billion. Number 9. Alice Walton. Alice Walton is the only daughter of Walmart founder Sam Walton. She has focused on curating art, rather than working for Walmart like her siblings, Rob and Jim. In 2011 she opened the Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art in her hometown, Bentonville, Arkansas. Crystal Bridges features works from the likes of Andy Warhol, Norman Rockwell and Mark Rothko. She and brother Jim are spearheading a program that will issue $300 million in bonds to help charter schools invest in facilities. Alice Watton is worth $54.5 billion. Number 8. Jim Walton. Jim Walton is the youngest son of Walmart founder Sam Walton. He gave away $1.2 billion in Walmart stock in June 2019, but remains the richest Walton in part thanks to an estimated 44% stake in Arvest Bank. Jim sat on Walmart's board for more than a decade before yielding the seat to his son, Stuart, in June 2016. Collectively, he and other heirs of Sam Walton own about half of Walmart's stock. Jim and sister Alice are spearheading a program that will issue $300 million in bonds to help charter schools invest in facilities. Jim Walton is worth $54.6 billion. Number 7. Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg is the chairman and CEO of Facebook as we all know. Facebook has become the most popular and most valuable social media company in the world. And it all started in Mark's dorm room at Harvard University. Facebook has become a go-to communications tool during the coronavirus pandemic lockdown. The Chan Zuckerberg Initiative, his philanthropic and advocacy arm, announced it would help quadruple the Bay Area's COVID-19 testing capacity. Zuckerberg started Facebook at Harvard in 2004 at the age of 19 for students to match names with photos of classmates. He took Facebook public in May 2012 and still owns about 15% of the stock. Number 6. Amancio Ortega. Amancio Ortega is one of the richest men in Europe and the wealthiest clothing retailer in the world. A pioneer in fast fashion, he co-founded Inditex, known for its Zara fashion chain, with his ex-wife Rosalia Mera in 1975 who died in 2013 he owns about 60% of Madrid-listed Inditex, which has 8 brands, including Massimo Dutti and Pull and & Bear, and 7,500 stores around the world. Ortega typically earns more than $400 million in dividends a year. He has invested his dividends primarily into real estate in Madrid, Barcelona, London, Chicago, Miami and New York. Amancio Ortega is worth $55.1 billion. Number 5. Larry Ellison. Larry Ellison co-founded software firm Oracle in 1977 to tap into the growing need for customer relationship management databases. He gave up the Oracle CEO role in 2014 but still serves as chairman of the board and chief technology officer. Oracle has grown in part through steady acquisitions of software companies, the biggest of which was $9.3 billion for NetSuite in 2016. In May 2016, Ellison pledged $200 million to the University of Southern California for a cancer treatment center. In 2012, Ellison spent $300 million to buy nearly all of Hawaiian island Lanai, so far, he has built a hydroponic farm and a luxury spa there. Ellison joined Tesla's board in December 2018, after purchasing 3 million Tesla shares earlier that year. Larry Ellison's net worth is $59 billion. Number 4. Warren Buffett Warren Buffett is known as the Oracle of Omaha, Warrett Buffet is one of the most successful investors of all time. Buffett runs Berkshire Hathaway, which owns more than 60 companies, including insurer Geico, battery maker Duracell and restaurant chain Dairy Queen. 
The son of a U.S. congressman, he first bought stock at age 11 and first filed taxes at age 13. He's promised to give away over 99% of his fortune. In 2019 he donated $3.6 billion, much of it to the foundation of friends Bill and Melinda Gates. In 2010, he and Gates launched the Giving Pledge, asking billionaires to commit to donating half their wealth to charitable causes. 89-year-old Warren is worth as $67.5 billion. Number 3. Bernard Arnault and Family. Bernard Arnault is one of the world's ultimate taste makers, he oversees an empire of 70 brands including Louis Vuitton and Sephora. In November 2019, LVMH struck a deal to buy American jeweler Tiffany & Co. for $16.2 billion, believed to be the biggest luxury brand acquisition ever. LVMH spent $3.2 billion in 2019 for luxury hospitality group, Belmond, which owns or manages 46 hotels, trains, and river cruises. His father made a small fortune in construction, Arno got his start by putting up $15 million from that business to buy Christian Dior in 1985. Four of Arno's five children work in corners of the LVMH empire, Frederick, Delphine, Antoine, and Alexander. 71-year-old Bernard is worth $76 billion. Number 2. Bill Gates. Bill Gates chairs the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the world's largest private foundation with his wife Melinda. In February 2020, the Gates Foundation said it would spend up to $100 million to improve the detection and treatment of the novel coronavirus. Gates has sold or given away much of his stake in Microsoft, he owns just over 1% of shares, and invested in a mix of stocks and other assets. In mid-March, Gates said he's stepping down as a board member of Microsoft, the software firm he founded in 1975 with Paul Allen who died in 2018. The foundation works to improve global health and to create equal opportunities for people around the globe. To date, Gates has donated $35.8 billion worth of Microsoft stock to the Gates Foundation. Bill Gates is worth $98 billion as of April 2020. Number 1. Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos is the founder of Amazon, one of the biggest and most popular companies on the web. Amazon started as a simple online bookstore in Jeff's bedroom, and the initial sales were slow. He founded Amazon in 1994 out of his garage in Seattle. He remains the CEO and owns a nearly 11.2% stake. Jeff Bezos became the richest man in the world in 2020, after adding a whopping $40 billion to his net worth last couple of years. Amazon is making major moves, after recently acquiring Whole Foods, launching drone shipping, and a bunch of other strong ideas. Jeff Bezos divorced his wife Mackenzie in July 2019 after 25 years of marriage and transferred a quarter of his Amazon stake to her. Mackenzie Bezos's 4% slice of Amazon makes her one of the world's richest women. Ops. In 2019, Amazon notched $280.5 billion in revenues and a record of $11.5 billion in net profit. In March 2020, Amazon announced it would hire 100,000 workers to meet increased demand during the coronavirus pandemic. Bezos owns The Washington Post and Blue Origin, an aerospace company that is developing a rocket for commercial use. Jeff Bezos is worth $113 billion as of April 2020. Wow! Thank you for watching.